I was one of the very first care package recipients. And having just grown up and not having had any food, we were just emaciated, I mean, really thin. As a young German refugee at the end of World War II, Renata Center remembers the first care packages of powdered eggs, corned beef, and fruit preserves she received from America. It just left such an imprint. How Americans can do this to the enemy, you know? I mean, I just said, wow. For a $10 donation to care back in 1946, Americans could send a box of surplus army rations to feed 10 refugees in post-war Europe during one of the greatest humanitarian crises of the 20th century. The care package to me is an icon of American generosity. It sort of encapsulates uh, the impulse to uh, do something directly for one person to help another person. Flash forward to today's Syrian refugee crisis, the largest humanitarian crisis in Europe and Asia since World War II, more than 10 million displaced Syrians in and out of Syria and counting the majority of them living on their own outside of traditional refugee camps. This could be described as a new care package. It's an electronic voucher. CARE's food voucher cards for refugees work like any other debit card, but with a monthly limit per family, they can only use to buy food, hygiene, and household essentials. It's a better way of buying relief supplies locally to help refugees get what they need most where they are instead of shipping, storing, and delivering the care packages of yesteryear. These two families are new arrival uh, from Syria. CARE's relief workers in Turkey, many of them Syrian refugees themselves, make sure the voucher cards get to the neediest, like this extended family of 13 living in an abandoned warehouse just across the Turkish border from Syria. Today in Turkey, this voucher is worth about $18 a month per person. That means 60 cents a day for food. To help them get through the winter, CARE gave families a one-time voucher card to buy coats, blankets, and heaters. So by giving the voucher, rather than giving a set kit of in-kind donations, it enables the family to choose what's right for them and to meet their own needs better. Since the first CARE packages during World War II, CARE has been adapting its relief work in humanitarian crises around the globe as one of America's most recognized first responders and long-term solutions providers. The world spends more on, on uh, bubblegum than we do on our, our broader humanitarian responses. We have a historic moment in time, and uh, in another generation, we want to look back and we want to be able to say we were as generous uh, at this moment in time as we were, for instance, after World War II. By making it easier and faster for Americans to make online donations, to fund these new care packages of food, hygiene kits, and shelter supplies, CARE has been able to help more than a million Syrians in need survive this crisis, now going on its sixth year with no end to the conflict in sight. We want people to understand that they have the capacity to embrace that idea of a care package that is about love, support, empathy, and that that is what CARE is doing in a modern incarnation that is transformational and that is making a difference in people's lives. From the Turkey-Syria border, this is Mike Saray reporting for CARE USA.